pomegranate plant is basically bushy in nature. Many shoots emerge from ground level. Retain three to four shoots and cut off the remaining ones. Pinch the tip of the shoots at two feet height to induce branching. Encourage five to six lateral branches on each shoot at one and a half feet to get well spread canopy. Many farmers put the plants for flowering at the age of 10 months itself to get early crop. This is not a good practice. Take up pruning after 18 months. The best practice is pruning at 24 months. This is very important for the good health of the plant and the garden in the long run. Keep on removing sprouts from ground level and flowers on these small plants. Otherwise, it disturbs the vegetative growth. Intercrops are possible between the plant rows for two years, but it is not practiced in commercial pomegranate gardens. Farmers concentrate on nourishing pomegranate plants to get good growth and early crop. Pomegranate flowers only once in the spring in cool climate of North India. But in the tropical climate of Central and South India, it gives more flowers in three seasons a year. Flowering in June-July is called as Mrig Bahar. September-October flowering is Hasta Bahar and flowering in January-February is Ambe Bahar. Complete rest for the pomegranate plant is possible in April-May month and hence it flowers profusely in June. This Mrig Bahar is the rainy season and hence the crop needs less water. But the insect and disease infestation is more. It brings down the quality of the produce. This is not a good season for cropping in areas with high rainfall and with bacterial blight disease. Hasta Bahar comes just after the rainy season and hence it is difficult to give proper rest for the plants. It results in poor flowering, but the fruit grows under full sunshine and hence the yield and the quality of the fruit will be excellent. Pest and disease problem will also be less. These fruits are best suited for exports. Ambe Bahar is in hot summer, hence we get heavy flowering and more yield. Pest and disease will be less, but the fruits ripen at the end of summer season. The crop may suffer with water shortage resulting in poor quality. If the pruning is delayed, crop may be affected with early monsoon showers and hailstorms. But the demand and price for pomegranate fruit will be better in Indian and export markets in this season. Decide the cropping season depending on prevailing pest and disease situation in your region, availability of irrigation water, and market demand for the fruits. See, this garden received unseasonal rain this year, increasing soil moisture. Hence, the plants did not get proper rest even in December-January months, resulting in poor flowering. Hence, the farmers has lost a major portion of the yield. This indicates that the rest for the plants before pruning is most important. Pruning is necessary once in a year for pomegranate plants to get flowering at a time. It helps to reduce pest and disease incidence as well. Disease spreads very easily if the branches of adjacent plants overlap each other. Limited number of main and sub-branches allow light penetration into the plant canopy and improves the health of the plant. Management will be easy. Pomegranate has both terminal and axillary flowering. Fruit developing at the tip of the shoot will be small in size and gets scorched by direct sun. This loses market value. The fruits developing inside the plant canopy get shade and hence the quality will be excellent. Pomegranate plant needs a complete rest period of 45 days before pruning and flowering. 
It is a deciduous plant shedding leaves naturally in cold winter season in the temperate regions. But in the tropics, pomegranate is an evergreen plant. We have to force the plant to shed leaves to enter rest period. In the rainy season, spray ethereal at 1000 ppm or 2.5 ml per liter of water concentration 15 to 20 days before pruning. The leaves turn yellow and drop down. In black soils, put 5 ml ethereal in 1 liter of water. Otherwise, the leaves may not drop. Stop watering during the rest period. See, these plants are in rest and are ready for pruning. Spray 1% Bordeaux mixture at this stage to bring down pathogen population on the plant. Pruning is an important work to be attended by experienced workers. Remove disease-affected, dried, weak and closely grown shoots on the plant. These are the water shoots, which grow straight without flowering. Cut them off at the bottom itself. Mature thicker stems bear bigger fruits of better quality. Prune them, retaining one foot length so that it flowers in the leaf axils. Approximately 25 to 50 percent of the canopy is removed in this pruning process. Cut off all shoots blending towards the ground. This thinning of the canopy improves the health of the plant and helps to regulate the crop. Pruning is done in such a way that all shoots and stems in the inner wall of the plant get sufficient sunlight and ventilation. Spray ethereal 1000 ppm concentration after pruning. It sheds remaining leaves, reducing pathogen load on the plant. It also facilitates new sprouts and flowers. Collect all the twigs and leaves on the ground. Keep it outside the garden and destroy by burning. This is most important to check bacterial blight disease. 